Hey guys, it's Ray. So today I wanted to share with you this Happy Halloween banner. It's actually really easy to make. For this, I'm going to be using some foamy paper. You can use cardboard, like normal paper. You can use anything you want. I just like using this kinds of paper for home decor, just for a bit of dimension. I'm just going to be using all these colors. Doesn't matter because we're painting them. Each one is going to give me three like spaces to work with. I'm just going to be folding them in three parts like this and then just cutting those two parts. Those parts that I cut it are going to be like my three pieces and so I'm just going to be taking my ruler, my pen and trace the space. I'm going to be doing that in both sides that I marked and I'm going to cut them. Now each one of them I'm going to be cutting more because I thought they were just like too um, high for what I wanted to go for. So I'm going to be taking my ruler again and I'm going to be marking that twice, the space of my ruler. This is personal preference. If you want your letters to be a bit higher than this, just cut less. And then I'm going to be working on the letters themselves. And this art, I just bunch of like lines all over. I'm going to be making my H twice, pretty much marking three lines, two on the sides and one across. And then my A's are going to be like two lines like that. With a bit of an angle and then one in the middle then my piece is like one straight line and then one circle for my y it's going to be two lines like this like a cross and then one in the middle in there then my two l's are going to be two lines like that my o will be four lines like that and then just working my way to make this round like so for my w i ran out of foamy paper so i ended up taping like leftover pieces because i need the more space than just one of those like squares but my w itself is going to be four lines like this with a bit of an angle of them then my two e's are going to be four lines one uh, like that and then three across then finally my n is just three lines two of them like straight and the one in the middle with a bit of an angle you can start off with black paper or just black foamy paper i just ran out of it and using what i have so i'm just going to be painting this with some black acrylic paint i gave all of them like three coats just because i wanted it to be black and pigmented and i gave one coat to the back of them just to make them a bit heavier but i'm going to be decorating them using my purple green and orange acrylic paints and this like sponge thing that i have but for this next step i'm going to be using like this this part which is pretty much like a dining tool a big one and i'm going to add dots in a polka dot pattern like this pretty much all over the place and i'll add those dots uh, in every other one the first one is going to be with that and then nothing then the next color then nothing then the next color then nothing then the color that i started with is going to be making sense at the end when i show you like the final result and this is how i made the w because those lines are in a bit of a an angle not straight you know what i mean it's kind of hard to place at the pattern but this is what i did i started from like the middle part and just imagine where the pattern is next and then you'll be fine i gave them just this coat and i waited for them to dry i'm going to be taking my sponge again and my black acrylic paint just a bit of black paint i'm just going to be sponging those dots because we don't want to cover those dots and what i want from this is just go over my dots and just make them less vibrant just because i want this to look like an old happy halloween banner sign you know what i mean i don't want it to look like brand new then to hang them i'm going to be using the setup that i placed on my wall last december when i did my christmas decorations and i just left them there there are some like clothes pins with one of those tapes that you just tape things on the wall without having to hammer anything Thing, hanging my letters with my small clothes pins but yeah guys this is the happy halloween sign banner that i wanted to share with you i honestly love it the black sponging at the end i'm glad i went for it because i think it looks better with that it's pretty much up to you though i just wanted the colors to look like less vibrant kind of like there but not so in your face but yeah this one's pretty easy to make affordable i think it looks really cool i really like it and hopefully you like it too and if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out more affordable halloween home decor that i have on my shelf and subscribe for more let me know what you think of this one and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye Guys.